Alright everybody, we are back in the Hufflepuff common room. It has to be a routine by now. We just have to start here. So we left off just outside of, uh... I forgot her, her, the name of the witch's tomb. But it was ransacked. We got the helm of Urtcott. I think that's the name. Urtcott, uh, back from the poachers. Returned at the Lodgok. And that's where we left off after the quick, uh, trip over to the... Trial of Merlin, the second one we've actually done so far. But we're back in uh, back in the castle, back in Hog Hogwarts. Our next quest, while, while we're waiting for the next one to come up, is the Caretaker's Lunar Lament. Like I said last part, I did not realize the reward was Alohomora. My stupid head was like, oh, you gotta have Alohomora, and I've been just waiting for a quest to find it until I realized at the very end of the video yesterday. That's my bad. But, talk to Gladwin Mood. I'm very excited to get the spell, finally, because I can head back to Hog uh, Hogsmeade and actually unlock some of those doors so I can get all the uh, field, field guide pages in <laughs> Hogsmeade. I really want to do that. There's so many locked <laughs> doors that I just couldn't access. Take a nap on the floor again. And hopefully we get another quest by the time we're done with this one. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker. Who's the guy who was drunk, service. right? First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Okay. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. The demiguy's moon. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Yes. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguys. A demiguys? Yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. So I gotta go around that and collect them. why I need your help in removing the statues. I can do why that. Me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. 
Uh, yeah, what's in it for me? For once, I'm gonna be a little greedy. Why would I do this? Seems all risk and no reward. Oh, rest assured, there's very little risk, and there is, in fact, a reward. I will teach you a particularly useful spell. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sent you a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. There we go. I was about to say, do we learn the spell now or later? Okay, that is perfect. I've been waiting for this spell. God, I wanted this so much earlier. Okay, let me equip that in this slot. What is this? Oh, Wingardium Leviosa. For now, I'll, I'll, I won't worry about that. Nope, I have disillusionment. What am I doing? Oh, wait. Okay, so it's not a spell. It's just something you have. Really? Alohomora. Man. Oh, yes. Really? Okay, I don't know what we're going for here, but... Okay, I'm already lost. Use L and R to remove the sparks and rotate the dials until both corresponding gears are activated to release the lock. Oh, you have to control them both at the same time. I'm expecting like a freaking Skyrim well lock for some reason. You're in. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This Got it. is a restricted area of the castle after all. Okay. Okay, like I said, I was more of expecting a I guess I don't know why, but I was expecting more of a Skyrim lock for some reason. What are these? I kind of want to just mess around and unlock some more. more. I don't like the peeves is nearby. I'm not a huge fan of that one. And I guess I'll keep on looting gear, but... Ooh, it's another lock. Ooh, wait, really? Oh, so I collect more moons. That's how I level it up. Okay. I can do that. Another thing I'll probably do off camera, but I can definitely do that. That's a good that's a good point right there. Revenio. Where we got some bad guys at?
So these are statues, right? Revenue. What am I? Where is it actually at that I'm going for? Okay. Let's be very careful. I can I can come back for that page. Ooh, that's Professor Sharp. I don't want to disappoint him. Seems like I like all these professors. The cast of professors they got in this game, very likable. Revelio. Okay, so just the one. Anybody else in here? Oh, there's a flu flame right there. Ooh, that's a big group of professors. Wait, did I go too far? Revelio. This must be the prefect's bathroom. Very handy spell. I like it. Perhaps Ranrock and Hisot wouldn't be so combative if the Ministry would allow them to have one. One of those goblins comes near me. I'll hand them a patch. My marching professor Hecate's class is superb. I don't think that's what that class is for. She's right. Why don't you leave goblins alone? How dare you speak to a prefect that way? Okay, we're going back up. Nice. Revenue. Can I get you to go to that wall? Account of my venomous tentacular. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to. Send oh God, away. I don't like this. I'm gonna make a save right quick. Why not? We can mess around, and make some saves. I can backtrack. Can I just sneak right by them, or can I unlock this? It's a level three. Well, I suppose I should begin my rounds now. I suppose Professor Black knows best, but. The students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Huh. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff. Revelio. I parceled to Hufflepuff myself. What was that? What was what? I thought I heard something. Oh, quickly. Oh, dear God. This is this is actually kind of stressful. <laughs> God. Oh, he's looking. He's very close. Revelio. Cast Revelio. Where are they at?
Can you go over that way? So I can make my way down the stairs quickly. Okay, that was honestly, it wasn't too hard, but it was definitely stressful. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness, you're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. If we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there? That's a good point. By the way, I was very expecting them to expecting him to say, "You are a gentleman and a scholar." That would have been how many statues been are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. Yeah, what will I get for uh, helping you further? You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Which almost doesn't make sense. I feel like that'd be a more difficult to lock than some of the Hogsmeade ones. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. But I, I was wondering how it would, uh... Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Why does that ghost keep on waving at me? It's really freaky. But... Oh, there we are. New new quest available. But I was wondering how we were going to be able to get new... Because I, I saw the level 1, 2, and 3 locks. I was wondering how you'd get that instead of... Because it couldn't be just a spell the same way. But that makes sense. You, you get these back to them and you can level that up. So once again, another thing I'll do off camera. It's like my exploration of Hogmead, Hogsmeade trying to get all the spells or all the field guide pages. I can do it off camera. Dang it. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might... Akio. Sorry. I'd like I... your help with something. I cut off Serona. There we go. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts. And she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, <laughs> so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just <laughs> south of Hogwarts. By the way, <laughs> hope you're faring well with the blasting <laughs> curse. It's still one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. Your spirit guides are trying to contact you. I've not heard I from my Uncle Roland in quite around. some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Okay, we got a lot of missions. One of these, one or two of these I might do off camera once again. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to actually do like... I'm, I'm mostly talking about the yellow star quests. I will do every one of those on uh, the yellow icon quests. I will do every one of those. But like this one, I will keep doing these off camera. Even Roland Oaks. I'll probably do that off camera. Actually, for now, I'm going to actually go meet Sebastian in Feldcroft. I don't know exactly where that is, but I don't think it's too far away. Where is... Oh, there it is. So, it's this is not part of the Lod Lodbrock? Okay. I, I assumed when Serona was contacting me, it would be about... Uh, I forgot the name of the the goblin 
Lodgok. There we go. I assumed it was going to be about that, but no. Actually, I'll do, uh, go check in with Deke real quick. That shouldn't take too long. And then we can meet Sebastian. I want to get as many done as I can in this part. Where is... Gotta go to... We're meeting him, him in the, uh... Yeah, it should be in the secret rooms, right? Ah, it doesn't look like it is. Let's just go down here. Astronomy wing. What is this one? Charms classroom. We'll see if it's close. I'm getting close to discovering most of the flu flames in Hogwarts, at least. How far away is that? That's just right up there. Okay. Back here. Dang it. Where'd it go? Where did, I saw it up there. I saw... There we go. I want to collect as many as I can. I want to... I honestly want to do that before I finish the game. Or finish the main storyline of, uh... Getting as many or... If not all of the field guide pages. So it is in the secret room. I could have just gone in there. I forget where this is located at in the main area. Deke. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Well, don't use it on me. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class. That I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. Am you I gonna see, go, uh... the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. I was about to use the words hunting, but I don't want to go hunting. I want to go collecting. Come along, then. Turn this into a Pokemon game. I'm just not fighting with them. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. Let's do it now. Uh, I'm ready to learn how to use the nab sack. I'm ready to learn how to use the nab sack. Perfect. Deke loves an outing. Sorry for the sniffling all the time. I know I know you probably hear it in the videos whenever I'm filming. I just always get the worst allergies all year long. That was a dark time in Deke's life. Deke found himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever met. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. I was just about to say, this is where the puff skines are, aren't they? Yep. Saw this place we on the way arrived. to uh, Hogsmeade Deke the first time. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. Puff skeins. It'll be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Is there a limited number I can collect? Or can I just, like actually get a lot of them oh so it's actually oh it's in the spell slot okay well one of you is coming here you I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you is it just one or what can we get a hippogriff in this I doubt I doubt that works for the knapsack, but I want to try. Ooh, I one managed to rescue a puffskin. 
You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. How many is Poachers that? Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Meet Deke near the Jobber Knoll habitat. How far away is it? Okay, that's relatively far away. Gotta press the right button here. Oh, I love, I love the, <laughs> the addition of this. I mean, I guess if, if you're making a map this big, which it is a fairly large map, to be fair. Gotta have some way to get around quick. It's like Skyrim with the fast traveling and. I mean, even Borderlands, which I play, you can drive around. You need something to get around the map quicker. It'd be so annoying. But they got a good addition. When, it, when it, I mentioned that uh, Quidditch has been banned, I almost got a little worried that you wouldn't be able to use a broom. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobbernals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deeg has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Okay. Then I shall go and rescue a Jobbernal. Good Jobbernal. Deeg will be waiting. There are so many tricky words to pronounce. Okay, so I do have Levioso. Levioso. You come here. Okay, so you gotta... It's another timing sequence. That makes sense. I mean, it, it's, it's a fair I'm point. You. Dude, that's sick. How many are we doing in this part? I'm, I'm okay with doing this the rest of the video. Yeah. It's gonna get more and more challenging, I bet, but... I rescued a Jobbernal. Deke hopes your Jobbernal finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Now we're getting into a bunch of animals that I do not know from this, uh, if they actually exist in the canon universe of Harry Potter. It's, it's so hard to tell. What the heck is that thing? Oh, that's it. <laughs> that scared me. I thought there was a real dragon there. But there's so many words and names to pronounce in this in this universe. It's it, it, it's pretty much impossible to remember them all. Ooh, another flu. Want to get that one? Moon calf den. Oh, we're going in the den. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So. Unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. I was about to say, we do have a way to hasten time. Wait till day, or wait till night here. I feel like they'd have a way more strict curfew. If you have magic and you can track people the way you can in this universe, I feel like you'd have a way, like... I'm gonna... Levioso. Levioso you. Okay, that's... It's only staying as X for now. Which that's isn't very hard. I believe this. But like I was saying, I feel like you'd have a way more strict curfew if you could actually track people the way you can in this universe. You can very easily track people. You could track their location a lot, a lot easier than real it life. It's a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. 
You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Okay. Fast travel back there. So I know where to go now. I don't have to go back to the astronomy wing. Just click on secret rooms. Room of requirements. Makes it way easier. I need to get all the flus. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Oh, it's going to get bigger, isn't it? Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Send you in first? Meet you inside when you're ready. Yeah, how about you? Yeah, you going first. Come on, Deke. Uh, lead the way. Okay, I, I find it hard to believe the room of requirement can provide this. I find that hard to believe. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live. A vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them. Let them see their new home. Tap RB, okay. Oh, so you're gonna have 14 active beasts. Oh, <laughs> Moon calf. Where's the jobber knoll? Oh! That's a beautiful bird. Let's be real. God, that's awesome. Moon caps are just creepy looking, but that jobber knoll is awesome. thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold. Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Is this part of the same quest? Yes, it is. Are you guys friendly now? Oh, who wouldn't want one of those as a pet? Okay, I gotta add this back to my uh, spell slot here. Go that. Brush and then feed. Pretty good. Do this for two more animals. Okay, it's kind of growing on me. It looks, it still looks kind of creepy, like just the big beady eyes. But it's kind of growing on me, like a weird mutated beaver slash whatever. Ugh, I forgot the name of that animal. It just looks weird. Is that webbed feet? Have the body of like a, a pit bull, the neck of a really sturdy giraffe. A very short and sturdy giraffe. That's a thick neck. Jeez. Okay, getting distracted. <laughs> getting distracted there. This is my favorite animal so far, though. That's a beautiful blue. A 
I definitely got distracted because I didn't even collect this. There we go. So that's more materials you can get. Seems like everybody's happy. So, hold up. I'm, let me check it. Species 3 of 4. I don't know what that means. Only 12 beasts can go in here. Okay. Deke, here we go. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. This is one of the things I've been wondering about because I know you can uh, add effects to your gear. Okay, that is a pretty cool addition. And I heard, I've already been going with the nature theme, so that fits very well. Okay, let me let me change these spell slots here. I want to check something. I want to alter, but I want to put my other spells back. Would it already is botanical, eclectic? So it just it just goes with whatever's nearby. The botanical is the best. Okay. Conjure an enchanted loom. I guess I do need to put that back on. Utility. Put you up against the wall. There we go. Oop. Add a trait to an item of cloning, clothing, and upgrade an item of clothing. Okay. Okay, well, I've been selling this anyways, but it's good to know you can actually upgrade my uh, legendary gear. Okay. That works. This is what I'm currently using. Let me add something to this. Oh yeah, that works perfectly. And we gotta upgrade. How do we upgrade? You upgrade. There we go. I like that because this is my favorite looking gear so far at the moment. That came this up adventure nicely. gear. I should show Deke. Yep. There we go. Here he is. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. There we go, the Elf the Knapsack. I didn't I didn't catch the rest of it. Got another level up. That's good. Put that talent point in right now. I should be getting some more quests pretty soon as well. So I've been putting a lot into core. I should probably put some into stealth though. Yeah, let's finally put one in. I've been I've been kind of delaying on that because I don't use stealth all that much, but it's probably time to. So, what's the next one we got? Meet Sebastian and Feldcroft to meet his sister Anne, like he invited us in the past. I don't think we're gonna. I think we're gonna call it here for this part. It's a little shorter, but we still did get two missions done for uh, Gladwin. Yeah, Gladwin Moon and uh, meeting Deke. For, uh, well, I guess it's technically a Professor Weasley quest. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. I had a little fun in the Vivarium. I'm definitely going to... I almost said farm. That's a, that's the wrong terminology to use when you're saving magical creatures. I almost said hunting earlier. But I'm going to go turn this into a Pokemon game, I guess. Just run around the map on the, on the broom and find some habitats. But I, 
I still find it I still find it very hard to believe that the room of requirement I know there's like in it what is there's some spell that can expand the rooms on the inside but this is this is a little bit beyond that it's okay <laughs> this is a little bit beyond just expanding the room so I don't know about that oh, how far does this freaking go can you have like water animals Oh my god, you can. There has to be. Hold up, let me look at the map of this. There has to be a map of this area. Oh, is there not, like, a, a map available for that? Well, either way, this is pretty big. I really doubt... Yes. Doubt this would be possible. Either way. Well, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave any feedback down below, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.